good morning. It's day three, which means this was park up number three. Um, I'm near Hale next to an estuary, which I found really late last night because my original plan just didn't work out. But it's okay, it's actually, it was really nice and quiet. Well, apart from the fact it's quite a busy place, so excuse my awkwardness because there's a lot of dog walkers around. <laughs> but yeah, I actually, I think I just passed out and I actually woke up about seven. That's late. It's almost eight o'clock now and I don't really have a plan. Um, I might park up near Lelant, which is in between Hale and St Ives, and then walk from there to Zena. So it's meant to be quite a hard section. In the guidebook, they've estimated to only do 10k today, which kind of means that it's going to be a hard section. So I don't want to push it too much. I am a bit achy. My feet are a little bit sore because they're like baby feet. They're so soft that they're just getting blisters at the moment. But once I walk a bit more, that will just turn into hard skin. Yum. But yeah, so I'm a little bit winging it today, but hopefully we'll figure it out, all we'll be fine. And then tonight I plan on staying in a campsite so that I can shower, cook some proper food without being judged on the roadside and put some clean clothes on. <laughs> so we'll speak to you later. figured out logistics. I've parked in Lelant by a little church which locals say quote they all look after each other. I was like oh, okay so hopefully it'll be safe. Um, my plan is to walk to Zena and then I have no plan to get back but hopefully a taxi or something because obviously it's Sunday so there's no public transport. Yay! Um, oh and the reason why I'm at this bit already is because um, I'm, I've got a friend coming to visit me from tomorrow and she wants to walk the new key to the lamp bit. So I've skipped it and I'll go back to that bit and I'm doing that bit onward. So the lamp to Zena. Um, well, I'm at Porth Kidney Sands now. Um, so I think I've started reasonably early, started at nine and the sun is shining. Yay.
have just passed St Ives which is over there and it's supposed to be 10 kilometers from St Ives to Zena Zenor Zenor um, but and it's supposed to be quite hard this section so we shall have to see how it goes this first bit's been easy and beautiful and warm it's a beautiful lush day St Ives is a really popular seaside town it's quaint and quite upmarket definitely not somewhere I fit in I was just proud that I didn't freak out of how many people there were around. Go me! Okay, so it's only like day three of me walking and actually it wasn't that busy. <laughs> but it's a Sunday and there were quite a few people around and the sun shining, so... But I was fine. I took my time. I enjoyed it. <laughs> about 2k off now but they were right this bit is quite hard lots of ups and downs um but I've been pushing on mainly because I had this guy behind me for ages and it I don't like it because it makes me go competitive like it's a race like you won't get in front of me but I was like no Kylie stop it so I stopped because I needed to reapply sun cream baking hot and yeah and it's okay it's okay for people to overtake you it's not a race you've got to stop and enjoy the scenery sometimes because it is blooming stunning i can't believe the color of the sea it's crazy oh anyway yeah 2k to go to senna and then we've got the joy of trying to find our way back to the van Wish us luck.
goodness, I'm cream crackered. It's almost three, I think I got done about 2.30 maybe. That was really, really tough. But probably one of my favorite sections because it was so gnarly. You had to do a bit of scrambling and it just keeps your mind active and excited. It's just, yeah, my kind of section. But there's absolutely nothing in Zena nor any public transport really so I just had some soup and they've called me a taxi from the little cafe here in, in a chapel so but now I've got to wait like half an hour for the taxi so I'm gonna be a tramp and late here in the sun in their garden oh I'm done in done in look at my feet they're disgusting <laughs> Just what you wanted to see, eh? Fingers crossed, my van is sat there waiting for me. And then we'll go find a campsite. I need a shower. 